Hi, my name is Kevin Smith. I'm the curator of historic ships here at Independent Seaport Museum. Today we're on the Cruiser Olympia, the oldest steel warship afloat. And uh, today we're going to be talking about what do you do when you're at sea and you need new parts. So obviously a ship, when it's way out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean or Pacific Ocean, needs to be able to repair itself at sea. Any kind of machine that has moving parts or uh, that can be worn out over continuous use has to have an ability to be repaired. So what do you do? You can't exactly carry every known spare part in the world aboard a little tiny ship like Olympia. So what you need instead is a workshop. You need a machine shop with the right tooling to make parts that you know will wear out over time. So on board Olympia, like most warships in the U.S. Navy, we have a fairly small uh, machine shop, but this machine shop contains the tools necessary to build new parts and to service your engines and keep a ship like Olympia going, especially at sea. So here we are in Olympia's workshop. And you can actually see this is all the original equipment that was in use aboard Olympia over 100 years ago. So inside a machine shop like this one, you have the bare essentials, essentially, the, the main uh, tooling that you need to make new parts uh, for machines like steam engines and electric motors. So. As we look around the room here, you can see everything still functions. We still keep it going, even though a lot of this machinery is from 1895 or a little bit later, it still does its job, it still runs, it's built to last. Not everything is running. You can see how everything is operated in this room. It's all off of a common line shaft, it's called, where all these leather belts operate different machines. This was originally powered off of the original direct current electric motor right here, which is obviously not functioning right now. And now we're using a modern AC motor over there. Right here is the most important tool, I would like to say, of the entire machine shop, and it is the drill press. The drill press drills holes. As you can see, as a drill bit chucked in, this is a fairly large drill press. It can be opened up to make larger parts. And this is actually original to the ship's construction around 1895. This machine right here is called the Shaper. A shaper uses this back and forth motion to cut smooth lines in a piece that you would put in right here. That could be used to create flat surfaces on an object, it could be used to create uh, slots and screw heads. You can cut the edges of a round surface into a hexagon for like a bolt. You can do all kinds of things with this machine, it's extremely handy. This machine here is the main lathe in this room. It is a very large split bed lathe, and a lathe is used for turning parts. It's a very literal word. You put an object in there, and then you can use this cutting tool right here to move it back and forth. You can really see it move in and out to cut round shapes. And again, here's the operation of the tool. And this entire bed, as it's called, that this is all riding on, can be opened up from right there all the way out. So you can put really large parts in this machine. Any good workshop has a workbench. This is the original workbench for this room. You can see it all kinds of things plopped on it right now. This original little portable drill press, and of course some cabinets, and spare parts for the room and belts. That's it for today's very brief tour of our machine shop. If you have any questions about the machinery in here, please let us know on our page. If you like this video, please give it a like, and if you'd like to send us a comment about things you'd like to see in the future, please do. But for now, take care.